You might wonder what I'm holding in my hands here. Um, looks like a black picture, but if I shine a light on it at a certain angle, watch what happens. Mm -hmm. It's a picture, it's a hologram. Now this isn't one of those cheapskate holograms, this is the real deal. Watch what happens when I turn it. We have genuine three-dimensionality there. Okay, there's no denying that. In fact, one of the things that you know the camera doesn't really pick up is that the image actually comes right out of the picture to the human eye. I mean, if I place my finger here, in terms of my depth perception, that's as if I'm touching its nose, and yet I can move that far back into it. There's nothing there, and yet it appears to be that I could literally actually stroke it. You know, there's no denying that there's a there's real three-dimensionality there. This is a particularly good one because it's got these big gnashers, and if I try to move it a little closer to get you a real good look inside the mouth here, you can see very, very clearly, if you look at the teeth in relation to the tongue behind it, there's genuine movement here. You are actually getting to see behind things. Yeah, so that's the uh, the wonders of the hologram. Um, and yet there it is. It's in a completely two-dimensional space. It doesn't really exist, even though my eyes tell me that it does exist. So what am I trying to say here? Well, basically that, like I was saying in the last video about the idea of the holographic universe, our perceptions tell us lies. Uh, we're encouraged to believe through the conditioning of our experience, through our senses, that the universe is genuinely three-dimensionally solid. And yet, if we're smart enough to make genuine three-dimensional imagery in a two-dimensional space, who's really to say that the universe isn't hiding a much deeper truth that is not three-dimensional at all in its essence?